Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we're taking a look at a very simple and yet easy to use tool for creating trees. This is made available by Daniel Greenheck. And for those who like to see some of the cool things that Daniel has actually made over time, you can simply go over to his GitHub where you can check out all of these cool things. But the thing that we're taking a look at, which is more targeted to creators and artists, is the trees.js. There's also this very cool stuff that he has made and I think you guys may want to take a look at it. One of them has to do with the planetary thing. And then there's also another one that deals with the open fracture. Pretty cool stuff. But I think this one is more targeted to those who are into Unity. So just in case you like to explore this one, you can go ahead and check it. But a general purpose one which we're looking at today is this tree tool. So what this tool allows you to do is to create trees in some very interesting ways. It's a very simple tool, I must say. So just in case you like to explore it. Let's get into it. So the very first thing you would notice within the control is you have some seeds. So you can use the seeds to change the way you want the trees to be made. You can also change the maturity of the trees that you're creating, you know, however you want them to be made. You can change the maturity. And at the same time, you can choose to animate this thing. If we click on animate growth and simply just go over to the UI and just, you know, hang around there for a while, this automatically starts animating. And it's also worth mentioning that this would animate in different forms which i kind of think might actually be pretty interesting depending on what you're trying to make other things you might want to note is the trunk so there is a couple of interesting things that happens with the trunk let's simply just go ahead and wiggle back okay so within the trunk you can change the color of the trunk depending on what you want to do you can play with the length of the tree if this is also something that you're into you can play with the radius of the tree you can crush that you can crank it all the way up you can also play with the flare which is more like the base okay you can do that for the branches you can also play with the level of the branches that you're creating you can play with the stat and all this stuff, the start, the stop, the minimum children, the sweep angle. These are cool stuff. The blend variance is also another thing. The length multiplier is also another thing. There's also the taper, which is also another parameter, which I think, you know, it's really cool for you guys to see. The gnarliness, which is also there as well. And you can also play with twisting if this is something you're into. And for those who like to also go over to geometry and do some stuff, you can also go ahead and explore that. There's also the leaves so within the leaf section you have different style and also different types basically two types of styles and and then three types of the leaves that you can work with so you can change that from an oak to a simple ash to an aspen you know depending on what you want to make you do have all that there's the sun direction the post processing and finally you do have the export because you know it's pretty simple you can just simply export that and bring it into blender no questions asked. So Blender simply open. We're going to import all of the files that we exported as we did go ahead and export even more trees. And with all the trees in here, you would notice that they come as node. So what we're going to do is just simply move them around. There are some things I think you guys need to know, especially if you're importing these. And of course, you would like to use them. So one of the things that I would like you guys to know about this is once you switch to your rendering, let's actually just go ahead and get rid of that light tap in on the keyboard we're going to use the physical starlight and atmosphere for this one so we can throw in an atmosphere in the background and if we go over to our rendering with eevee what you will notice is this that this is going to render but we will be having very flat looking leaves i think we should actually throw in a little bit of a plane right there and we can also go ahead and take a look at this in cycles so even when you're working with cycles or maybe you're working with eevee you would still notice the same thing. Like we're getting this interesting looking flat shading. Now, if you've worked with Blender long enough, or probably you know how shaders work, you would know that to this shading that we're having, we are also having some casting on the floor, which actually tells us where the problem is. So what we're going to do is to simply go ahead and have one of these selected, and we can simply drag out and switch these over to the shader editor so within the shader editor you would already know that this has some very interesting stuff going on with the emission so the emission is responsible for whatever we are seeing there so once we crank that all the way down you can see that that simply goes away because you know it's using the emission to do that we can also go ahead and have these other ones selected and we can proceed to do the same thing so if we click on the emission and go all the way down and set this out we have that let's go ahead and get that light again so i'm going to get a simple light I'm just going to go ahead and delete that let's make ourselves a simple point light take this light all the way up 
and we can increase the radius of that light. So I'm just going to crank this all the way up and then, you know, just crank that radius to about 10. Let's increase this one more. So this is one way to start solving the problem, having that, you know, um, emission going away. So the closer we get to it, the more you can start seeing that light. So I can also go ahead and let's just crank this a little bit more. That becomes a little bit of an overkill and you can see the leaves exactly how they were intended for you to see it. And this is one of the things that you might run into or maybe one of the problems you run into if you're simply working with this out of the bat. Like if you just download it and bring it in, you probably run into the situation like, oh, it's dark or you cannot see the leaves or the leaves are very flat. This is one of the things that you would encounter and this is how you can work around it. And for those who like to download this and probably you like to use it, then you can simply go over to the link in the description and check it. One thing which I like to see from the creator, because this is an amazing tool. It is pretty simple. It's easy. You can get it. You, you know, you can use it on your tablet. You can use it on your, you know, your mobile devices. And at the same time, you can use it on your PC. So it's just extremely easy to work with. One thing which I love to see is animated growth like if we can have that i believe this is super super cool and it would be really nice and again if we can also have some interesting textures for the tree trunk itself that would also be a very welcomed development but either ways this looks really cool and of course a huge shout out to the creator for making this possible and actually before we go uh for those who would also want to go in and do a little bit of neat picking you would notice that this is a bit shiny so you can also go ahead and dial that down if this is also something that you're into we can have that selected go all the way let's take a look at the specularity and that looks okay so we can simply just go ahead and dial in a bit of roughness in that sense and you notice it's not as shiny as it was before and we can also do the same thing here so we can have that and we can crank that roughness a little bit more and you notice it's not as shiny as it used to and again, these are just very tiny shading tricks that you can use to get your scene to look exactly how you want it to be. And by any means possible, if you're also into texturing or making changes like this, you can always go in there and make these interesting changes to get the kind of result that you're looking for. So this is it. For those who like to take a look at this, you can simply go over to the link in the description and check it out. And again, a huge shout out to the creator for making this possible. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.